It's my great pleasure to be back in the Dubai Men's Health Congress. I was here for the inaugural first um, Congress last year and it was a great success and I think there's been a lot of interest from across the world and the UAE to have more conference uh, and more topics to discuss men's health and every year there's more and more uh, interest and uh, new technologies and ideas and so again it's great uh, to be here to share it with my colleagues. Last year we were really talking about uh, the foundations of men's health, different areas in urology and I think this year we're expanding on that, we're thinking about different ways of looking at men's health whether it's uh, looking at primary care and uh, involving women in the care of men's health and then we're also looking at new innovations so some of the things that I particularly like to talk about are new types of surgeries and treatments that we can offer men that are are uh, faster, easier, less invasive uh, choices for them. So this morning I gave an overview of global men's health in terms of what it means uh, as a discipline of men's health and what are the different initiatives that different countries have started uh, to get men involved in caring about their health. Uh, and then uh, later at the conference I'll be speaking about one of the new treatments for benign prostate enlargement called aquablation which is a new robotic controlled treatment which does a very quick uh, removal of prostate tissue for men who have enlarged prostate. So this is very exciting that we've uh, developed in North America and now it's going to be coming around the world uh, to treat men very uh, easily. It's great to be here. Uh, you have a wonderful faculty from around the world, from Europe, uh, North America, the UAE. And so uh, again, it's a great pleasure to have this conference and I hope it continues uh, for many, many years. Urology meetings were very focused on certain aspects of men's health like uh, prostate, uh, kidney, bladder, erectile dysfunction, fertility. But I think the idea of broadening what we consider to be men's health uh, like environmental issues, lifestyle, smoking, activity, heart disease, these are all the things that are really impacting men's health. And so a Congress like this really helps us uh, focus on all the issues and not just the urological uh, diseases. Thank you.